Hey Libra, welcome back guys to TikToks 22. So, a little while ago, uh, I started on collective readings on YouTube and I was doing the extended uh, on Patreon. But if I don't feel like your reading needs an extended or will warrant an extended, then yeah, we won't do that. I'll let you know at the end of the reading if there's an extended or if there's a need for one. Uh, but this is just going to be what you need to know about romantic love at this time. We'll take a look at the past. Um, what it, what the benefit of what it is you are letting go or need to let go of, and then what the advice will be. Okay. So let's jump right in. All right. Ooh. I started not to, uh, <laughs> shuffle on camera at all. Cause it takes a little time. But it's all good. We here now. Okay. So Libra. Your overall energy, guys. It's kind of like a defensive energy, right? With choose your battles. But it's like, what is it that you are fighting for? Are you resisting something? Or are you fighting against someone? Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely like, a, a, an, I don't want to say aggressive, but it's kind of aggressive. <laughs> aggressive kind of energy here. Um, it could be like in asserting, asserting your energy or yourself or trying to assert your will in a specific situation. It's definitely like a clash of the ego, so to speak. So, ooh, what is this? So it, it, it feels like definitely an imbalance in a partnership here, some type of conflict. Yeah, I feel like I don't. this could be y'all. Yeah, I feel like there's some type of cycle for you guys in pattern or pattern in relationships that there. This could be something or someone that you've dealt with for some time, or you may have seen something about a relationship or a situation where you saw a future in someone or a future with someone, but it feels like there, there's like a toxic energy to it or just kind of a negative energy around the situation. What's this pain spirit? I feel, I feel like this is somebody that you are committed to, right? But it feels like a lot of conflict in the relationship. So this could go two different ways, right? This could be somebody that you are fighting with or fighting for. Or like it's like a, almost like a power struggle. I feel like there's a desire here to work on a specific situation. But there's also like a to toxic energy connected to that. So this choose your battles says basically. Um, do you want to be right or do you want to be in love? <laughs> right? That's basically what the energy of this particular card is. I feel like the pattern that's in this, in this relationship is like somebody kind of putting themselves ahead of the other in a way. Like I want things to go this way. Or um, I want to, I want to have things to happen this way, but it's like a conflict. Yeah, because there's been some type of betrayal, maybe even third parties in the past. Too many, too many players on the field. There's some type of betrayal, sense of sadness, loss, grief, some things that have happened in the past that I feel like have like some underlying tension or or um, what do I call it? Like discord, maybe even some resentment, could be some envy or jealousy type of thing going on. But it's like still love too. So I feel like you guys are like, okay, you have this deep emotional connection to somebody. And you kind of try to put your best foot forward. But this aggressive energy keeps showing up. I feel like somebody here needs to do some, um, yeah, like the, the foundation of this relationship needs a shift I feel like there has been conflict, but this is something that you can get past with whoever this person is. But it depends on you guys, how you communicate. Because if you are in a situation or a space where you're kind of going back and forth with somebody, or you're trying to provoke them to get a reaction, or vice versa, so take it as it resonates. You're trying to provoke them to get a reaction, right? Where your ego kind of, yeah, your ego comes at play. This is all about communication, how you guys may speak to each other, wanting to kind of one-up the other, and kind of wanting to be in control. What's this magician here? It's almost like you guys have the power... To decide how this goes, right? 
But somebody needs to do some self-reflecting here because you may not either you may not see or realize that you have the ability to change this. It's kind of like giving um you can catch more bees with honey, right? But communication plays a strong role in this situation. In the past, you guys might be in your head a lot with this darkest fear situation. There, yeah, because something about this feels unstable. But that's because of that toxic energy. Um, this could be a situation with that nine of swords where you may overthink some things or call or uh -huh, or uh, be in your head like losing sleep over a situation over over a certain situation. Yes, I don't know if there's like distrust here. I don't know if there's distrust or if somebody is like. Because of the distrust or maybe even what you feel like is some type of deception. It's like it affects the way you communicate to this person in this relationship. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who has like an addiction or this could be a codependent situation. Or this could be Capricorn energy that you guys are dealing with or a Gemini. But I feel like whoever this is, like you put in a lot of time, effort, and y'all got like quite a bit of history in this connection. So this might just be the way y'all tend to do things where it's like you contemplate leaving or wanting to leave or taking a step back and then deciding to fight for the relationship. But then also it's, it's such it's so, so stressful. It's such a stressful situation. You could be dealing with somebody who's pretty stubborn. Leo energy showing up here. Aries energy showing up here as well. They're stubborn or cocky or maybe even a narcissist wants, wants things their way. But it feels like this is so wild. It feels like somebody wants things their way or somebody's stubborn and it's like, you know this about this person or you know there's no change or you may know that, okay, we go argue, right? If I say this this way, but I feel like there's something here that you are concerned about with this relationship that can be fixed or be repaired but you are needing to change the way you look at it and it's exactly what i said previously like do you want to be right do you want to win or do you want to be happy in love right i feel like there's a need here Ooh, gooses. there's a need here for like um compromise in a situation because right now um like i said this feels like a communication issue or like a shift of mindset what is that ace of sword spirit that ace of swords a shift of mindset that needs to take place. Yeah, because this is like arguing, maybe even fighting. Like let go of that fighting type of energy here. And really, really, yeah. Some of y'all are really being asked to look at look at your own energy. Because there may be some things about you that you are in denial about. Like it ain't me, it's him. Let me tell you something. In romantic love, if it's always the other person... I promise you it's something you're not seeing. So that could be the way you respond or react. It could be the way you, yeah, I don't feel like this is something that's supposed to end. I feel like this is something that you are supposed to grow through with whoever this is that you're dealing with. But it's like in order for things to improve and to move into this happy and fulfilling place, we got to be able to look at our, woo -hoo, goose is going us. We got to be able to look at ourselves, okay? Because something that you are doing, maybe in the way that you communicate or how you are perceiving this relationship, Needs to be reevaluated because it's kind of creating an energy of self sabotage. First of all, here's the thing if you're not happy in a situation, if you feel like a need is not being met, an emotional need is not being met, or there's distrust, you have free will to make a different choice. But what I feel like is there's an energy here of something being fu fueled by discord, fueled by passion. Mm. But I also see that you have like, this strong desire to make it work. What's this for, Spirit? This for cups yeah and i feel like it starts with this aggressive energy this feels it feels toxic and this could be toxicity in the way that you guys communicate with one another or the way that someone someone may pursue the other there could be some drinking or addictions as well something about the communication in this situation leaves someone feeling feeling like defeated so there may be a time where it's like, it feels like only one person is fighting for the relationship, but it also feels like that's because somebody don't want to fight no more, right? So there needs to be some things learned, learned from this situation in order to move forward, in order for true feelings and emotions to really take over in a positive way. But it's also like, this is up to you. It's up to you. What's this magician? 
Yeah, it's like it's like I said. Do you want to be right more than you want to be in this partnership or relationship? Consider what it is that you have to lose, and that's going to affect the way. Ooh, see, that's going to affect the way you deal with this person in the, in the future. Because I feel like there's like this strong sense of insist instability which may be connected to some type of insecurity like i said from some past betrayal and that could be on your part or your per absolutely on your part or your on your person's part leave rid of your energy showing up right there and then there needs to be be um a decision made about how you want to do things some of you guys i'm saying guys like people energy somebody is like completely I don't want to say that. I feel like you need to nurture yourself, pour into yourself a little bit. Because I don't know what. And decide what position you want in this person's space, in this life, right? Because it's like, if you want to be loved and you want to be loved by a specific person, are you open to allowing them to do that? Or are you looking to pick a fight to keep things excited? I feel like there need to be there needs to be a sense of examining the situation. So that you can improve the stability of the relationship. But it's like you have to learn from past behaviors so that you can apply new ways of doing things. Yeah, I mean, definitely needs to be an energy of compromise. Are we on the same page about this relationship and what we hope for the future in this partnership? If so, it's going to take a little bit of give and take. And really an agreement to put in the effort to make this thing go how it should go. Yeah, it's definitely an energy of, of awareness and a willingness like to learn from what has happened in the past. Because, because um, I feel like there has or have, have been some third party situations in the past, right? Definitely. But there's also an energy here too. Of like somebody trying to perhaps force a situation. Force forcing a situation. Or forcing a relationship. Or you may be feeling like you're forcing a relationship. It feels like we're not on the same page at the same time. Right? So there definitely needs to be some self-reflection. Because it feels like, like I said, you have the power here. For things to move differently. But it's like if you're not willing to look at what you're doing wrong. Or what you have done wrong. Or how you move wrong. And it's just always the other person. There needs to be some, some honest conversation had with self. I feel like too the energy that you give to the situation. Is going to be the result that. Going to show up in the result that you get as well. So if there, yeah. So if there's always conflict. There is an inability to compromise in a situation. Yeah. Then somebody's going to feel alone in a partnership. I feel like some whoever I'm talking to, you guys need to know that relationships are partially what it is that's best for you, um, how you want to pour into yourself, but also what is going to be for in the best interest of the relationship. And you have there has to be some consistency in that. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like being in a marriage or commitment, and then because it's kind of unstable or there's some a sense of insecurity. Throwing around the, the, the divorce word. When you know damn well you don't want a divorce. So why you keep saying it? Why you bringing it up? Because then when I take you up on it, you're going to be over here crying or trying to start a fight or all this, right? So you know how we can be ladies sometimes. Well, when we are in our unaware energy. I feel like for some of you, whew, this feels like a passionate, a passionate relationship. And that passion could be anger. But I feel like it's sexual chemistry as well. But also emotional connection. I do feel like there's a new beginning for you guys. With this clarity here, this is something that you guys can move on from. I feel like there's been some tension in the relationship, but there is a strong potential for transformation here in the partnership. But you have to be willing to communicate in a more healthy and loving way. Compromise, yeah, and, and kind of balance everything out in that regard. And then I feel like you'll see this like outpouring of love and emotion and desire the, the, the connection that you desire okay be very careful of falling into a cycle or a pattern where it's like dang we arguing again we was getting along last week kind of energy because it's something in that situation that you guys may be doing to contribute to that situation now if this is you know your person's energy then there yeah then there's a way for you there may be a way for you to communicate with your person 
Yeah, a way for you to communicate with your person that where they are able to um, like recognize or see their own fault as well. Okay. Yeah, so the way that this relationship is going, there's an opportunity. Woohoo, gooses. Opportunity here for this thing to bloom into something super positive, okay? So it's like in order to do that, you have to choose your battles, pick your battles, right? Is this worth an argument or is there something that I could do differently? But also, the one that compromises all the time doesn't need to be just you, okay? You also have the embrace card which says through each other you find the missing pieces, yeah, because I have, I have a strong feeling that there's a desire for this to go well. And the Manifesting Miracles card says your, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Yeah, because some of you may be feeling like you may... See, that's what I'm saying. There's an energy of getting bored in a situation and then like... But the, but the boredom is not actually boredom. It's like I don't feel like either this person sees me or... Um, I feel like it's based on the past insecurity in the relationship. So then it's like, I wonder what they're doing. Like there's some maybe jealousy or concern about past situations creeping up. And, and that's what happens when there's a breach of trust, right? But there needs to be an agreement or commitment to how we want to move forward in the future. And it needs to be mutual. So that's going to come with um, converse, conversation, communication here. If you're going to let the past go, let the past go. Yeah, because some of y'all, some of y'all or the person you're dealing with may be doing something to get a reaction. But if you want something to be stable, if you want it to be stable, check your motive. Check your motive for doing what it is that you do in this partnership. Let me see something real quick. Libra's person for the other side of this situation. Yeah, because I feel like your person, this isn't something that they want to end either. There's like a real hesitancy to that. This is not a relationship or a connection that they want to lose. Yeah, so, so this is crazy. <laughs> so this is crazy. I need y'all to get on one accord, okay? About what y'all want for the future. Make a decision. Like, should we fight? Should we fight each other or are we going to be in this thing together? All right? I feel like there's some, some overthinking, over worrying, and catastrophizing in a way that creates like this tension. But that tension is rooted in fear. Oh, somebody's messaging me. But that tension is rooted in fear and insecurity about the future of the relationship. But really, it looks like you're on the same page with whoever it is we're talking about. So this is just going to require some communication. This blossom card here suggests that whatever you nurture and pour into is okay. Whatever you nurture and pour into is what's going to bloom, what's going to grow. Um, it made me think of, I just said, okay, made me think of this girl, and they have a beautiful yard. Um, this this couple that, that I check in on every now and then is uh, two females, right? And she takes care of the yard, though. No, she takes care of her lawn, but it was turning yellow in certain spots. And she was like, I just saw two, 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 two on the clock, I'm telling you. And she was like, um... Uh, Give me some time. I'm going to put some effort and energy into this yard. Because I, yard, do y'all say yard? I'm texting. Anyway, um, lawn, whatever y'all want to say. But um, I'm going to put some time, effort, and energy into this yard. I'm going to do it myself. And she was mowing it like twice a week and watering it. And she got the watering system to go in different spots, bought fertilizer, all this stuff. And she put effort and energy into this relationship, in, into her relationship with her yard. And the next time we saw it, it was this, it was like she, as she likes to call it, cash money green. So that's that's the energy of this situation. The energy that you give to something and the type, the type of energy and the way that you pour into something to try to nurture it is the result of what you... Will, will be the result that you see, right? Absolutely. I do feel like there's a potential for success here in this situation for you guys. But you got to be willing to put in the effort. And for some of you, that means to let the ego go. And the ego is the fear, fearful tactics, um, the, the envious energy, the insecure energy. You have to leave that stuff in the past and allow yourself to be open to what it is you want to grow in this relationship and partnership, for sure. Some of you guys, I feel like, like I said, you don't see how anger or aggression 
is hurting the stability of this relationship. Okay? Some of you may benefit from affirmations of self-love, right? So that if, say, your person or your partner has a day where you're not looking, where they're not validating you or whatever the case, right? You're not looking for that. You are so secure, confident, and comfortable in yourself that it's like, it's okay if they feel a little withdrawn today. But I feel like this person may be somebody, whoever I'm de you're dealing with, somebody who kind of shuts down or withdraws their energy in an, with that aggression. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope this was helpful, Libra. Bye-bye.